Texas is one of the best places in the country for boating and fishing. However, that may not always be true. Right now, our lakes, rivers, and bays are under attack by invasive plants and animals. And if we don't do the right thing, Texas is going to be changed forever, and not in a good way. What makes invasive species so destructive is that they push aside and outcompete our native plants and animals, throwing our ecosystems out of whack. Giant Sylvania can double in size in a week and block recreational access. And many species, like zebra mussels, can harm water quality and even damage boat engines. In the process, they can cost millions of dollars. But you can do something to prevent this threat by always cleaning your boat, trailer, and gear every time you leave the water. Just follow these three simple steps. Clean, drain, and dry to prevent the spread of dangerous invasive species like giant sylvania and zebra mussels. First, inspect the boat, trailer, and gear and clean off vegetation, mud, or foreign objects that are found. Second, pull the plug and drain all the water from the boat, including the motor, bilge, live wells, and bait buckets before leaving a lake. Third, open all compartments and live wells and allow your boat and trailer to sit completely dry for a week or more before entering another water body. And if you've been in a body of water that has zebra mussels, such as Lake Texoma, and if you can't leave your boat and trailer out of the water for a week, you will need to wash your boat, trailer, and gear at a commercial car wash using hot, high-pressure, soapy water ideally at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. If you have a large boat that has been kept or stored in a slip on a lake known to have zebra mussels, it may be heavily infested, and you need to have it fully decontaminated by a marina or a boat mechanic so that you don't transport zebra mussels and don't damage your boat engine by driving with a plugged water cooling system. Thanks for doing your part to keep invasive species out of Texas lakes, rivers, and bays. Because it's hello invasive species, goodbye Texas lakes.